welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. I'm Tony Green, the psychic and medium and channel. Okay, so today's show is hopefully going to be a really good one. I'm going to take callers as I always do. And I may even be able to answer questions in the YouTube live chat. So if you're new to the show, you can call in and ask questions and you can join the show live. The call in number is 845-277-9131. Um, I'm here every single Monday and Wednesday at noon central time to uh, answer your questions and help you connect with loved ones on the other side the information i get i channel from uh, let's just from angels your loved ones um so yes so that's where the information comes from um i want to say hi to um heather sal and everybody else on youtube i also want to say hi to my little brother steven who uh Every time he sees my show, just he's so you guys, I can't even tell you how much this dude makes me just crack up. So Stevie has Down syndrome. And so when he says things to me, it's it's always freaking hilarious. So one of the things he always says to me he goes, oh, Tony Green, YouTube Live, Holy Graham, ABCs, EFGs. And what he's trying to say is, Tony Green, um, um, uh, YouTube Live, Instagram, and then he's trying to say my website, which is freaking adorable. It's it's so it's so cute to me. I just crack up every time he says it. Um, so yeah, it's it's pretty it's pretty awesome. It's that's pretty pretty awesome of him. He just cracks my butt up every single time. Okay, a uh, couple more things. If you would like a private session, please keep in mind I never ever reach out to anyone via email or on social media to ask you if you would like a reading. I do have an email list. I do mail out to my email list, um, reminding them about my shows, giving away free healings with my email list. But I don't reach out and say, hey, you need a reading. Hey, yada, yada. I don't, I don't do that. Um, so if somebody does that claiming to me to be me, just report them and block them because it is not me. Um, and that happens to a lot of people on social media, any venue on social media. Uh, the next thing is I am on TikTok. I have two different channels on TikTok, the live.beauty.reviews and the Psychic Tony channel. I'm on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. Yep, that's it. I'm trying to, to read my notes as I uh, tell, tell you guys things. So... Sorry if I'm not looking straight ahead. Okay, I'm going to get started and I'm going to start taking callers in a second. I want you to know, like I, I will answer questions on YouTube, but once I get to the callers, um, I kind of have my energy there and it's really easy to focus in on one person and have that energy just focused in there. If I do come back to YouTube and I have to start reading through questions, it can take a moment, but I do sometimes also answer YouTube questions. But the other thing is people who call in, they're waiting for 15 minutes before the show even starts in the log to get one, one question or one connection in. So please be understanding of that. Hey, um, Patrick, happy Monday to you also. Um, okay, uh, Sal is asking if I know anything about Moldavite crystal. He just got one from Romania. Yes, um, I do know about Moldavite. Uh, if I'm thinking of the right crystal, it's a crystal from an asteroid 
that is supposed to help you ch channel, help um, bring things through. But I always say, whether it's a crystal or something else, always just use your own God-given um, or whatever you call it, given abilities deep inside of you. Um, don't depend on other things to get answers for, for you. Um, but Moldavite is very pretty. I believe it's like a greenish black. It is a very, very pretty crystal. Um, absolutely 100% a beautiful crystal. Uh, okay. Uh, yes. There was something else I was going to say. If you are calling in, please have a question or a connection ready. Um, and please take me off of speakerphone when I say your area code. I'm going to go to the very first caller who is 780. 780, uh, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Hey, Tony, it's Jay calling from Canada. Hey, oh my gosh, it's been forever. How are you? It, it has, yes. Thank you so much. I'm pretty good at myself. I'm, I'm doing really well. Thank you so much. Doing really well. So, Jay, what's going on with you today? I do, I do have a question, and I feel that I mean, this is probably for everybody else on the call right now, is that um, I feel that the, our loved ones are giving us signs science and many more science for us to survive what's probably going to happen in the future because they could see what's going on and they're kind of like running to all the people and say can you hear me and things like that i'm just thinking do a clearing blocks for like so we can actually um you know one so we can hear spirit in our dreams or or, or loved ones in our dreams giving us message um uh signs that we see uh, from our loved ones, giving us a message, and uh, so we can maybe be more clear that way when we want to see and feel and hear um, those, those signs from our loved ones, trying to give us messages on um, preparing us for what's coming in, in the future. Absolutely. So let me do that now, and then I'm going to speak a little bit on this, because that's, thank you, Jay, that's actually what I was trying to remember to talk about at the beginning of the show. So the first thing we're going to do is the clearing, and thank you, Jay, I know everybody's going to love this clearing, to, uh, we can easily hear and see all signs from loved ones and angels that are coming through for us. I get a no, let's clear that to a yes. Cool. And that, you guys, if you feel that, please let me know because that hits me right in the chest and a big lump like coming out of my throat. Um, we trust the information we get from our loved ones on the other side and our angels. I get a no. Let's, um, let's clear that to a yes also. Whew. And while this is clearing, I, I just want to do a kind of, a, it's not an I told you so, but it is an I told you so. <laughs> oh my gosh. So during the first um, presidential debate between um, Biden and Trump, I was sitting with someone and the first thing, as soon as I saw Biden, I said, that's not Biden. And the person I was sitting with looked at me like I was a little bit crazy. What do you mean? And I said, Biden has baby blue eyes. This guy has his, his, his eyes are black. And um, it's been a bit, it's been a minute for I, I've waited for redemption on this for a minute. And I would tell everybody that is not Biden. Biden has baby of all the things that can change on our body and our face the color of our eyes does not change. And finally, like everybody keeps talking about Joe's earlobes, but finally they're going, oh no, Joe used to have blue eyes. And I'm like, yes. And it's so funny because on my show and, and via spirit, whenever I think about Joe Biden, I hear that, that um, I think it's Eminem, 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 that's that guy, Slim Shady, song, will the real Slim Shady please stand up? Meaning, will the real Joe Biden please stand up? And, and yes, 
he now I'm seeing some videos where they're using that song and they're showing all the different images of JB. Um, like here's clone number one, here's artificial intelligence number two, here's, you know, whatever. And they're claiming that there are three different, um, what clones, artificial intelligences, uh, lookalikes that they're using for Biden. But since day one, I have been saying this is since before the election, I've been saying this is not JB. This is this is not him. And finally, vindicated. Finally, everybody else is noticing. Um, the second thing is, um, and this one is a little tough. So if if you're sensitive to things like this, please just um, mute me for a second. And then in, in about 30 to 60 seconds, come back on. For well over a year now, I have been saying some something's going to happen on the East Coast, and then I got the East and the West Coast. And lo and behold, what's going on right now, all the PSAs in New York and California. And California, whoever was in charge of your PSA for the nuclear fallout, shame on you. That Turning it into a song and dance, shame on you. Just shame on you. Whoever put that PSA together and whoever approved it, what were you thinking? Seriously, what were you what what were you thinking? Oh, we're about to have a nuclear fallout. Let's turn it into a song and dance. I, seriously? Okay, enough about that. But that is California. Whatever. Um, but I want to re reiterate what I have said since day one when I heard when I got the intel over a year, way over a year ago, we are not going to be hit by foreign fire. And I cannot stress this enough. And anybody who taps into this, who is intuitive, who can feel things, will know what I'm saying is 1 million percent accurate. This has been planned for quite some time if we get hit on the east and or west coast, I don't care what they say. I don't care what they show you. It is not foreign fire. I know that's very hard to believe. But it's very difficult to believe a lot of the things our government has done and is approving. Trust me. It is not any other country that is sending that to us. Please, let's be logical just for a moment. Anything, any country would try to send to us, to hit us, we more than have the capability of stopping it mid-air or mid-ocean. Yeah, that capability, that technology exists. Yep. Yep. So if we get hit, it is not foreign fire. Just keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. Okay. Huh. That's what I wanted to say at the beginning of the show. So, so thank you so much, Jay. Jay, did you feel that clearing? Did you feel that healing? Yeah, it was like a, something left it off my chest when you did that. Awesome. Thank you. Did anybody else feel that if you're online, if you're on YouTube and you felt that clearing? To be able to hear and see the signs from angels and loved ones on the other side, please give me a heads up. Jay, thank you so much for calling in for that. Jay, you're always such a kind and loving soul. I'm so happy when you call in because you just, you have that, you know, all inclusive, do this for everybody sort of thing going on. And I just, I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Okay. You're very welcome. Me too. Much love. Thank you. You too. And Jay, coming in, just um, what I'm going to say for you and everybody else, whatever happens, stick together. Do not let them divide us. Form, I don't want to use, form teams, form friendships, form collabor collaborations with people around you. Um and keep the information and the flow open. Um, just uh, don't, 
don't let them separate us. Don't let them physically, emotionally, do not let them separate us. That's a weird message to get, isn't it? Do not let them physically separate us. <gasps> oh, okay. Um, yeah, don't let them separate us. Okay. Thank you, Jay, again. I hope you have okay. an amazing rest of the week. And I look forward to talking to you again in the near future. Oh, me too. Thank you. Thank you. And everyone else and I, it's close. Thank you so much, Jay. I'm going to go directly to the next caller, who is 305. 305, how are you today? Hi, Tony. Thank you. Tony, can you hear me? I can. I can. Hello? Yes, hello. Can you okay, hear good. me? I'm out in the park. Yes, I hear you well. I'm out in the park, and I just want to thank you for, for speaking for God, for the truth, for the light, and helping the consciousness look at the drama in the third dimension and helping people rise up into the fifth reality, this dimensional reality, because that's what I am here doing also. And I want to keep reminding people that how beautiful they are and how much love they are and to let go of the play and the drama and the movies that we see down here in this world, because this world was made for that. So I just want to um, say thank you so much for speaking from your heart and telling the truth. And I want you to continue to carry on because so many people need you on this platform and elsewhere. And I never heard you before. So oh. I want to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Absolutely. My pleasure. I'm so grateful um, you were able to get through and give that message. And I do think that we do need to um, understand that we are here on this dimension for a reason. And that reason, yeah. um, depending on, you know, each individual person, we have a purpose here. And that purpose is to unite and to stay strong and to yeah. not allow um, yeah. uh, things to interfere. Yeah. You know, my big thing is I'm, I'm just going to say this. I'm, I'm really going to say um, I'm really going to say. We were put here to be free. We were put here, brought in to be free and to create. And if we are not able to do that, that's when the the real situations will come in. So please, no matter what, keep your freedoms, keep your um, abilities to move move in this world the way you want to serving your purpose. I'm going to go to 256. 256, how are you today? What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hello? Hi. Hi, how are you? Good. What's your name? Where are you calling from? This is Kimberly from Tucker, Georgia. I'm sorry, where are you from? Tucker, T-U-C-K-E-R, Georgia. Oh, George. okay, thank you. How can I help you today, Kimberly? Um, yes, I just like a message from a loved one. Okay, do you have a specific loved one in mind? Well, um, my aunt showed up in my dream. Um, my aunt Barbara, she showed up in a dream this morning, so just wondering if she had a, a message for me. Okay, so the first, the fir I don't know what this means, um, but the first thing I, I hear is representative. So um, you'll know better than I do what that word means as far as your life goes right now. I feel like the representative could mean a number of different things, and I'm not going to spend a lot of time elaborating on that. But the other thing I do hear okay. is that you're going to be... Um, you're going to be moving ahead. Prepare yourself because you're going to be um, okay. The what they're showing me is a white, a big white horse, a huge white horse with this big fluffy mane. Ooh, so pretty, and um, these golden reins on the horse, like that. You know, you use to steer a horse with man. I love horses. I love uh -huh. horseback riding. That's, man, I do. Um, and these big, these golden, but they're gold. They're gold reins. And what they want you to know is uh, you're now steering 
the cart, you're steering the direction, or you're in charge of your direction, you're going to be moving ahead. And how far you go or how fast you go is up to you. But get ready because it is coming in and it is going to be really, um, I'm hearing the word monumental. So whatever it is that you're doing right now, whatever it is that you have going on, whatever plans, um, even if you haven't even started this yet, you just know that you have, um, what's that? So it goes, I have, uh, um, I think it's, oh gosh, I can hear the beat. Um, might I have the Midas touch or something like that. Um, no matter what you touch, it's going to turn to gold. It, hence the reins that are gold that you're holding. And you are going to be able to take this as far and as fast as you want. That's their biggest message for you. And I'm going to tell you, whatever you do next, make sure. And I, I don't like, I don't want to put any doubt in your head. This is to put more faith in your head, but make sure it's like, it's what you like and what you want because it's going to take off and you, you have the opportunity to be doing it for a while. Okay. So they just really want okay. you to know whatever your plans are, they're about to go. I hope that makes sense to you. It made perfect sense. Thank oh. you very much. <laughs> you are so, so welcome. You are so welcome. Um, and I, I'm so happy that you're having dreams with your loved ones in them. A lot of times, every everybody has dreams with their loved ones. We just don't always recall the dreams because they're in our REM sleep or our deepest sleep. And it's sometimes difficult to, to recall right. the dream. So I'm so grateful that you are recalling your dreams with your loved ones. Um, please do call oh, yeah. back. My, my Aunt Barbara. Go yeah. ahead. I'm sorry, love. Go ahead. No, I was just going to say quickly, my Aunt Barbara was a big personality. And um, I think she would make me remember because I remember everything. Sitting at the table and before I walked away, I had to give her a kiss. Oh, so, my gosh. Yeah. I so love that. I love that your dream was that vivid. Um. It's really important for you to know, and they're just, they're making me say this again, and I hope you, I hope it makes sense to you too, but they're making me say it again. And it's not only your Aunt Barbara, there are other people with her, it's, it's your ancestral um, tree, as I'm going to call it. Um, they want you to know Whatever it is that you're like thinking or wanting to do, um, I'm hearing another song, jump on it, jump on it, and on and on and I, I that's the only part of the song that there. Okay. Okay, you got it. That's one of my best one of my good songs. I love it. <laughs> Me too. I love it too. Me too. Uh, uh, yes, and that they are going to be there, like helping you all the way. But don't hesitate. Like now's the time. Uh, go for it, and you will not be sad. You will not be disappointed. You actually will be very, very happy. Okay, love. All right. Thank you so much. You've been an absolute joy this morning. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. Thank you so much. And it, it's absolutely my pleasure. 630, you're going to be next. I just want to take a look at um, at my at my uh, blog talk and say, hey, Carolyn. Oh, Genevieve. Hi, Genevieve. Um, thank, and again, thank you. Thank you again, Patrick. Um, uh, first name, last name said, question, I've been working a lot and I'm tired. What do you see coming for me with getting a new job? I feel like, okay, um, first name, last name, I feel like a, a new position will be coming to you in a month and a half. I don't know if that's when you first see about the position or you're going to be starting the position. Make sure you're taking the time you need to 
seek out the, pos the, the position that you're looking for is the main message I'm hearing for you. Um, uh, it's like a news outline. Oh, Sal. Okay, for the clearing that we did, Sal said um, it was like a noose around my neck taken away. And we all know what that means, Sal. You were a witch in a past life or a warlock. You had witchy talents in a past life, and we all know that. So that that's done. You're free, Sal. You are totally free. So here's the thing I know about our intuition and our intuitive abilities. And this is what I'm going to say. We all have them. And we call it that gut feeling, or we don't want to use the word psychic or medium because uh, there's just, there can be some stigma with it and people get freaked out for all different reasons. Um, but we all have that into that gut feeling or that intuition. And a lot of us, all of us, when we're born, it's, it's crystal clear and it's so vibrant. Okay. So strong. We can see everybody from the other side. We can hear them. We can still see angels perfectly clear. Um, it's, what people say to us here and tell us once we're here and old enough to comprehend what they're saying that shuts it down or in a lot of cases it's fear that shuts it down so right now i'm going to for everybody listening re-listening watching re-watching if if you would like um we're going to open up your intuition so uh fear shut your intuition down i get a yes and this is only if you want we're going to clear that and open it. If you don't want it, it won't happen. I can't make anything happen to you that you don't want to, to, to have happen to you. It's, it's your free will and your choice. And then the other thing is, um, you're afraid of being called crazy. <laughs> If you have it. And I get a yes. You're afraid of judgment and stigma from others. I get a yes. And we're going to clear both of those. And I can tell you, I totally feel that because I've, I've totally been there. And I do. Um, I do deal with that also, believe it or not, even in my own family, I deal with that still to this day. Um, so it is what it is. And, and I, it is what it is. Thank you so so very, very much for joining me for this show. I will be back on Wednesday at noon. Um, if you want to join on Wednesday, please, uh, you can join on YouTube. You can join, you can call in and you can also uh, just watch or listen on any blog talk um, or uh, any of the streaming channels that I'm on. If you'd like a private session, it's www.tonig dot i n f o until wednesday please have an absolutely amazing rest of the day